One of the challenges that we see in the market right now is that the need for risk management remains high within a portfolio, but the go-to risk management tool may be particularly vulnerable to some of the key risks in the market. If you look in March, we had the Fed that kicked off a rate hike cycle off the lowest policy rate in history, and at the same time, inflation was at a 40-year high. If you look right now at the gap between US CPI, the consumer price index, and the federal funds rate, that gap stands at about 7.5%, substantially higher than anything that we've seen over the last 50 years. To put that number in context, if you look at the average gap that we've seen, about negative 1% over that time frame. So what that tells us is we may potentially have a Fed that is behind the curve and will need to get more aggressive with rate hikes in order to combat that inflation. So as investors, there's really two things that we think are important to pay attention to if that were to happen. Number one, this may continue to put pressure on fixed income securities, similar to what we saw play out in the first quarter. The second thing that's important to pay attention to is it also may have increased the odds of a policy-induced recession. If we look back to 1965, we've never had the Fed kick off a rate hike cycle with inflation this high and be able to do that without putting the economy into a recession. So again, the need for risk management in the portfolio remains high, but the go-to risk management tool that so many use may be particularly vulnerable. So we think this is really a compelling time for buffer ETFs. Buffer ETFs will allow you to be able to add equity exposure, but at the same time, dial down risk as desired. The fund's investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses should be considered carefully before investing. The prospectus contains this and other important information, and it may be obtained at innovatorETFs.com. Read it carefully before investing.